Hello! In this video, we'll be covering the first steps of bringing a capture made using Polycam into Cinema 4D. Let's get started. I've made a scan of this instrument here known as a harmonium. When your capture has finished processing, go to poly.cam slash captures and click on your chosen capture. After that, click on the export button. I'm going to choose the OBJ file type. You can also export directly on the Polycam mobile app, but here we'll have access to the file on the same machine as the program we're using. Once you are in Cinema 4D, go up to File, Merge Project, and select your file. On the Import Settings window, increase the scale to 200 centimeters. Right away here, I can see some vertices that I don't need. So using the box selection tool in points mode, I'm going to select those vertices, holding control or command to unselect, and then pressing backspace to delete those vertices. Okay, so let's bring in our texture now. I'm gonna go up to the material tag and double click on it. Then I'm gonna go to basic untick reflectance and transparency, and then turn on luminance. From there, I'm going to locate the image with my color information. Hit open and press yes. Now I'm gonna to go to the thumbnail and drag that up into the luminance channel and then down into the texture slot. Now let's bring up the resolution on the capture. So let's go to viewport and under texture preview size, set no scaling. Now a really important step here is to merge overlapping vertices. So go into points mode, hit control A to select all, and then go to mesh, remove, and press the gear icon next to optimize. Bring up the tolerance just a little bit. 0 0.005 is good, hit okay. So this will make all the polygons connected so then sculpting will be a lot easier. One last thing I wanna do is make this edge along the bottom nice and clean. For that, I'm going to use the Boolean method. So I'll create a cube, drag that underneath the mesh, and then hold down the generators button and select Bool. The order is important, so let's bring the cube underneath the mesh and make those children of the Boolean generator. Then I'm going to slowly drag up, oh, making sure only the cube is selected. As you can see, it's starting to make a cut and even close the hole. I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit more. That looks good. So once it's in a good place, we will right click on the bool generator and go to connect objects plus delete. And now's a good time to rename the capture. Okay, for the final touches, let's go into the sculpt mode. And if I go to Options and turn off Materials, we can look at the mesh without any textures applied. Let's flatten these planes a little bit by using the Flat Brush tool and set the Draw Mode to Polyfill. And from there you can basically draw out the area in which you want to flatten. I'm going to turn the materials back on so I can see where I'm going. Now as I turn around to this side of the capture, I'm noticing that the, the detail on the texture is getting a little bit washed out down here. So I can adjust that by going into the Material Attributes page and then going into the Color tab, setting the Mix Mode to Multiply, and bringing down the Mix Strength. Much better. Continuing on now, flattening out some of these surfaces. I'm gonna go up into options and turn off my materials again. And I think that we can smooth this out a little bit more using the smooth brush tool, turning down the strength a lot so we can keep those sharp edges as much as we can and bringing the size down. And along the edge now, we can kind of soften that transition between where we use the flat brush and the natural edge of the capture. Okay. 
coming around to this side, I've seen we've kind of created an artifact with the flat brush tool. So I'm going to smooth that back into its original position. From here, so much more is possible. From setting up redshift materials for a render or retopology to even rigging and animating this instrument. If you would like more help or to see how other people are using their captures, the Polycam Discord is a great place to go. You can talk with the folks creating the app and people using it in their projects. Take care everyone.